P2007, P2007PN, Spin Pull to Pressure Pneumatic Hydraulic Tool. The P2007, P2007PN for plus nut applications is the most versatile and ergonomic pull to pressure tool on the market. It utilizes a single trigger control with an automatic spin-off. This process ensures a reliable installation while minimizing installation time. The P2007 will install many different riv nut fasteners or riv stud fasteners into a variety of thicknesses using pull to pressure technology. Single stage trigger controls complete installation sequence. Automatic timed reverse spin and stop for maximum speed. Ergonomic grip and balance for operator comfort. Installs 20 to 30 pieces per minute. Lightweight and compact, 4.9 pounds, 2.2 kilograms. Max stroke, 0.275 inches, 7 millimeters, 14 millimeters for P2007PN. Max pull force, 4,700 pounds force, 21 kilonewtons. 80 PSI, 5.5 bar of clean dry air required for operation. These are some of the common tools used for the Bolhoff P2007 setup and general repair. Setting up your P2007 to run your production correctly will ensure the correct setting load of your riv nut. Adjusting the anvil mandrel correctly will also maintain the longevity of the mandrel. It is extremely important to read the operating manual for the P2007 before you use the tool. The Bolhoff P2007 required 6 bar or 90 PSI of regulated air pressure. The tool needs to be at 80 PSI minimum at the tool. Please note for every 10 feet of hose you lose an average of 5 pounds without an accumulator tank. First, remove the nose piece. Second, remove the mandrel retaining pin. Then install the mandrel in correlation with the fastener you're using. Reinstall the mandrel retaining pin. Please note you may need to move or remove the circlip by the mandrel retaining pin. Once the mandrel retaining pin is installed, make sure the circlip opening is not over the mandrel retaining pin hole. Next, install the nose piece, followed by the anvil. When installing and adjusting the anvil, Make sure the end of the mandrel is flush with the fastener you are using. Once you verify the correct length adjustment, tighten the jam nut on the anvil. First, connect the airline. With a flat blade screwdriver or Allen key, turn the pressure regulator counterclockwise so it's the furthest position out, lowest setting. Turn the regulator five clicks in clockwise motion as a starting point to set your fastener. Turning the regulator clockwise increases pressure and gives the user a wide range of adjustability for their fastener. Next, cycle the P2007 by pressing and holding the trigger until the tool cycles in, then out. This procedure only takes a few seconds. You must cycle the tool between each adjustment of the pressure regulator to properly reset the tool before you set your riv nut. Install the riv nut on the mandrel using the quick start feature that automatically threads the fastener on the mandrel. If the fastener does not upset correctly, turn the pressure regulator clockwise two clicks each time until it properly upsets your riv nut. Once the P2007 correctly upsets the riv nut, Make sure you test it in sample material the same thickness as your production material. Run a few samples in your test material. Remember the P2007 has a single stage trigger. You only need to pull it once and hold it until the tool senses the part is set. Once the part is upset, the tool will automatically back out on its own while you're holding the trigger.
Maintaining the correct oil level in the P2007 is vital to the performance and longevity of this tool. Low oil over extended periods will result in many different failure types, including inconsistent performance, air leaks, oil leaks, and major internal damage. Low oil is the number one most common problem when tools come back to Bolhoff for repair. Bolhoff recommends using mobile DTE-68 or similar all-purpose hydraulic oil for their installation tools. To check the oil level, disconnect the airline. First, remove the Allen screw located on the top of the P2007. After removing this screw, oil should be visible through the hole. If it's not visible, add oil until it appears full. If oil is low, it typically takes less than one to two tablespoons to top it off. Again, maintaining proper oil levels and fresh hydraulic fluid every few thousand cycles will prolong the life of the tool and provide consistent performance. If you find that adding oil to the top does not alleviate performance issues, a full oil exchange may be necessary to ensure you have the P2007 full of oil. Low oil is the number one cause of mechanical issues with the P2007. Step 1. Disconnect the airline and install tool into a bench vise as shown in the video. Step 2. Remove the black rubber boot. Step 3. Install an M6 fastener on the bottom cap for stability and grip. Step 4. Remove the snap ring. Step 5. Remove the bottom cap. Step 6. Remove the piston and spring. Step 7. Drain the oil and let sit for 10 minutes. While draining, remove the screw on the top of the gun to ensure all air escapes. Step 8. Reinstall the plug on the top of the tool and reinstall tool in bench vise. Step 9. Fill the gun with oil in the center hole until it appears full. Step 10. Reinstall the spring, then piston. Step 11. Pump the piston up and down using the M6 bolt several times to circulate oil in the tool. Step 12. Remove spring and piston to inspect oil level in the hole and add oil if necessary. Step 13. Reinstall spring and piston followed by the bottom cap. Reinstall the large snap ring. Step 14. Install the black rubber boot. Step 15. Remove the tool from the clamp and set up right. Remove the screw on the top of the gun to drain excess oil and release any trapped air. Wipe away excess and let tool stand for 5 minutes. Reinstall screw on the top of the gun. Make sure not to lose the rubber O-ring on this screw. Connect your airline and cycle the tool several times to test.
The trigger valve will need to be replaced over time. The trigger valve has an internal spring that after thousands of cycles will eventually wear. This will cause the trigger to stop functioning and may leak air from the trigger area. Replacement is very straightforward. First, install the P2007 in the vise as shown in the video. Next, remove the roll pin that is retaining the plastic trigger. Remove the trigger. After you remove the roll pin, remove the trigger valve with a spanner wrench by turning it counterclockwise. Remove the spring and O-ring inside. Last, reinstall the new trigger valve from the Bolhoff Trigger Kit. This kit contains a new trigger valve, O-ring, and spring. The O-ring seats on the bottom of the trigger valve, followed by the spring. Insert the new trigger valve back into the trigger housing and tighten with a spanner wrench. Loctite or excessive torque is not required when installing the new trigger valve. Reinstall the plastic trigger and roll pin.